What is going on today? We're going to be going over how to edit this underexposed photo. And it's super blown out and backlit right here on um, behind our subject. And we're going to make this look like a neon subway looking type image. So first off, let's start. I'm actually not going to boost the um, exposure to see what's there simply because, well, I mean, it can. Look at that, it's just a building. Everything's a little bit grainy, but we don't really care about that. So we're actually going to start with dropping the exposure further and then cleaning up these lights that are in the background. Why did it pull from there? Just pull from a black area. So it's all disappeared because this is all going to look very dark when we're done with it. So no lights are gonna show up in there. From there, we're just gonna drop the highlights so we can actually see some of the, the light coming back there and actually how it's textured. Um, then this, this you can see a lot of the colors that are still there, which isn't what we want. We kinda want it just to be the one color coming out of this area. You'll see in a minute what I, what I mean, what I'm prepping for. We'll turn this a little bit colder and we're going to drop the vibrance so it pulls most of the color out of this. Not all the way, but we want most of the color to just be gone. With the exception of the green. I want to keep the green in there. But yeah, most of the color is gone. There it is. A little bit of green of these, a little bit of green there is retained. From there, I'm actually going to increase the clarity. We're going to come back and mess with this again a little bit later because the light is going to affect the way that it looks on the uh, brick down there. And then we're gonna go into the highlights and I wanna make them this bluish, a little bit more on the green side. So as you can see, it affects the way, the clarity will affect the way that these look on the stone or the, <laughs> the brick right there. So the brick, as we can see, uh, I really want it to be showing throughout that, so about right there. But that also brings up the exposure in this little back area, so we're just going to simply paint that away. Make it super dark again back here. And that's about good. I don't really care that there's a little bit showing back there, and then this green in here is all right, we'll leave that. And this is pretty much exactly where we're gonna leave this. You can go through and even adjust what type of color you want in images like this. Like if I wanted to have a blue background, you'd have that. If I wanted an orange, green, yellow, red, and it just, because we've taken the color out of the entire image through the vibrance, so if we were gonna pull this back, it would look much, much different and it really wouldn't pop as much. So that looks like the color is only coming from the lights, whereas this looks like it's just lights in there. So it really brings out the look of those neon lights that are gonna be in the background of this photo. Thank you for watching. My name is Daniel. We go over everything mirrorless Canon cameras and hope you enjoyed this. We have a playlist right here of other videos like this, editing underexposed photos. Thank you.